Hello, hello, hello. I hope you are doing well. Today, I am alone once again. Seems like that my friends and peeps aren't around. But that's totally fine, because we are going to be exploring Mars. A planet that I've only just touched on a little bit. I had, uh, did a little bit of recording on it, but the recording didn't seem to have uh, pulled together very well, so... I'm having to redo with this one. Anyways, all should go fine. And we shall see what Mars holds. Here we are. This looks to be the Mars Foundry, or whatever this place may be. I don't exactly know the name to it. But what was it? The Braytech Futurescape. Interesting name. Looks like people are doing this giant event again. This gets pretty out of hand. Uh, I'm gonna do that probably later. I wanna do some exploration. Which reminds me, I need to go accept some missions. As you can tell, chaos is just everywhere. <laughs> There's this type of Oh, interceptor mission, if I'm wording that correctly. You raise these certain towers up, which you have to protect, happen. I believe. And you have to destroy these shadow rifts that these hive creatures create, and then proceed to the next round, if you so wish, by raising another pillar. It's a very challenging one highly recommended to have multiple people uh get melee kills on mars and complete public events on mars Be careful with that. defeat multiple enemies at a time on mars using the valkyrie can't hurt to accept i've already reached max glimmer but i can give you some sef seraphite okay yay I'll save some of my Seraphite. Thank you very much. Alright. So now we got a few bounties that we can do while we're on the way. I'm wanting to head down here somewhere and check the place out. I've only ever explored this one area where all the action is happening. But again, this event lasts for quite a long time, so... I'm just going to avoid it for the time being. Holy crap! He took a bit of a chunk out of my vehicle with that one blast, whatever weapon he's using. Uh, everything's all frosted over. Plenty of snow lying around. Come on, boosters. I think my right mouse button is failing on me recently. Wait, what's this? Ah, oh, I just barely grazed him. Oh, what's this? Is this a lost sector? I'm thinking it is. No? It may just be a cave entrance or somewhere. Let's check it out, shall we? Oh, wow. That looks pretty. I like how they did the ice. Looks really nice. Very realistic. Oh, Bundy have been able to pull off some pretty stunning graphics. What do we have here? If I remember, that's the Cabal. Alright. Do this. I'll punch you too. Hey, you like it. Give him a little bit of grenade and light him up. All is well in the world. I <laughs> uh, haven't tried my new grenade launcher yet. Maybe I should give this uh, a few tries. I don't think it's explode on contact, which usually is my 
preferable type of grenade launcher. But again, we'll give it a few tries. See how we like it. Holy crap. Those are some fancy doors. I wouldn't mind having those. <laughs> if they were if they were real, that is. What's that up ahead? Oh, it's night. Alright. Yeah, yeah, that's a good grenade launcher. Oh, is it? It is detonate on contact. What do you know? I didn't see a perk anywhere that said that. Maybe I skipped past it and didn't realize it. I approve, because this is considered to be a bit stronger than my previous grenade launcher. What's this? Override frequency. I don't know what that is. Yet, to say the least. I've found these floating diamonds everywhere, and that's what it requires. What's up here? Anything special? There's another one. I wish I had whatever it's telling me uh, I need. I wonder what kind of operations the call cabal are doing down under here. Doors also blocked off. I wonder if I really can't explore anywhere else besides this room. It's rather empty though. Yeah, I think I'm blocked off everywhere. Which means I'm... I probably have to come here at a later point in time. Or have a certain mission accepted. So I think for the time being... We will teleport over here to the Glacial Drift. Darn Acolytes. Check this place out. Wow. Is that a whole railroad system? Looks like it got broken. Looks like someone went boom boom and trashed the middle of the rail. Who dropped their plunder? Hey, I want some of their loot. We hey hey ah uh, it's desynchronizing there we go all right oh check this out we got a new little building over here and a crate to loot thank you thank you I don't my little extra material oh I'll check this out is this lost sector. This doesn't appear to be considered a lost sector, but I'm going to explore it anyways. Oh, looks like it's more of the hive. These hive creatures are quite interesting, I must say. They definitely have an ugly look about them. Oh. This is interesting. Where did I hide before the time? Oh, frick. I... I didn't expect to be doing this. I, uh, may have not paid attention to what those towers look like when they're, uh... <laughs> in their inactive state. Alright. Bringing out the full auto, man. Just thralls, eat a grenade. Good lord, look how many there are. Where's the shadow rift? There it is. I get over here, stand in the circle. I mean, once this is purged, 
We gotta shoot the crystals, which now have no shield on them. And here we go. Shoot them up. Have a few grenades, eh? Oh. That was interesting. Rather hide before the time expires. Oh. Just left overhead right here. Oh, just what I need. I need a purge that. Oh. <laughs> My bad. I, uh. I may have screwed up there. I fired a grenade that was a little too close for comfort. What I thought I could do was cure the purge off of that thing right there and get what I've been looking for, which is related to one of my bounties. Oh. Yeah. Oh no, it requires an armory code, that's why. I do know I need to do some finishers on some rather powerful foes, I think. Holy crap. Good lord, how many thrall are there? And this is what I mean. Nope, 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 please, nope. Holy crap. Oh, I can't believe I dodged all that. And this is exactly what I mean. It's because of this dude here, which he's not going to be uh, <laughs> defeatable in this amount of time. So I'm just going to have to run away. There's no way we can kill that thing within 20 seconds. <laughs> yeah, I did not mean to actually start one of those. So uh, that was my bad. But hey, now you have it taste of what those events are <laughs> it can be pretty rewarding if you've got a group capable enough Ooh, olympus descent hella's basin where am i oh oh this looks like to be a location for a strike defeat nocris before he completes his ritual we're not here for the strike right now, but we're here for the exploration. I just love the ice. I just love the graphics overall. It runs so well. I'm, I don't even have my frames locked. I haven't really noticed any V-Sync, but that might just be my graphics... My graphics card driver settings they may have v-sync turned on I'm not sure I haven't looked at that in a little while I'll grab some material thank you Cursed Thralls are not my favorite either, at least when they get up close and manage to. Not only do they deal high amounts of damage, but they will apply the chilled effect, and that can really disable your movement. Oh, you, don't, you didn't like that, did you? Well, you know, I gave you a nice punch in the face as a reward for your <laughs> anger. <laughs> I love how, how these enemies get ticked off whenever I do something that they don't like.
bust their shield. They're like, all right, well, I'm just slash you with, your so with my sword here as hard as I possibly can. Break your spine. And finish you off. And finish you off as well. Thank you for the lovely amounts of ammo. Ooh, some more material. I definitely would not mind grabbing that. So where am I heading anyways? Oh. The other end. I love this pistol though. It's called the minimum distance. It's really effective. The kinetic weapon so it does really great against their health. Against tougher enemies it starts to show its uh, weakness but still it's really nice damage even compared to some other weapons. I also just like handguns in, in particular. <laughs> I think pistols are really nice looking and great weapon. Uh, okay. So I've reached the end from what it appears to be. Either I did reach the end or I took the wrong path. I guess we reached the end. Maybe something special would have happened here if I had accepted uh, an adventure, which I really need to start doing. Because adventures can get you some decent rewards, I believe. This weird crash machine here, though. Hmm. Wonder where that came from. I don't know. Seems like we've explored this area. Uh, seems like Mars isn't. Particularly that big, unless I went around and took another path, I think. I'm not sure, but it seems like maybe I could take this area into the mine lab. I think I've already been through the mine lab. If that was a uh, lost sector right here. Another one of those public events. But alright. I think um I'll I'll try and give this area a go and then see before I decide to end the video. Show the mine lab. Alright. So I think it's it's to my left. Okay. It should be that doorway right there. It's quite a cramped location filled with a whole bunch of uh, hive. I think there's particularly a lot of thrall in here too. And you know how the thrall was last time. It just came through and nearly killed me uh, except for the time that I uh, <laughs> blew up with one of my own grenades that is there's a doorway around here somewhere ah through here it's interesting because I also found out a little bit more information about the exo race which is what I'm playing as right now Maybe I can find that little console after exploration, because it is a little lengthy. 
Just a tad. It's very dark in here too. Get back over here. Ooh, hello, knight. Finish you off. Give you a punch in the face. And you too. And you too. And you. <laughs> the, the thrall are easy to kill, especially with just a simple punch in the face, but... Once they're in numbers, that's that's where they'll get you. Oh, hi there. Didn't like that, did you? Ooh, season rank up ten. Nice. I think uh, I think I get a new piece of armor. I don't think it's. Oh. Oh, interesting. There's a lot of things that I need to find to even use certain things. I didn't even see that before. Eh, get out of here. This area, I think... Nah, it's up ahead. I was fighting a boss and... Oh, this is, this, this is the console right here. I'll probably come back to this and activate it. Yeah, this is a particular area. I was trying to do a certain challenge, so I've made it a little more difficult. Or I, I may have made it a little more difficult on myself. Uh, I was trying to get multi-kills with grenade launcher, and I totally got wrecked while doing it. A couple of times, because I thought maybe I had to get... Uh, multi-kills by killing two enemies with the same grenade. But I think I learned now that multi-kills consist of getting multiple kills within a certain time frame. Ooh. Yep, here we go. Activate my super ability and get with it. Ooh, nope, nope, that was a bad idea. Curse Thrall. I didn't even see the Curse Thrall. Yeah, that'll happen. <laughs> uh, that'll happen. You don't want to get up in a mix of a, a crap ton of cursed thralls, or else that'll happen to you. Take my loot. Wait. Oh. Stop growling at me. Killed your leader. Shouldn't be fighting me anymore. Okay. And that's the end of that. I, did I come through here? Oh yeah, I came through here and wrapped around. I'll play this little console for you. So that you can listen in on some of that EXO lore. I can find it again here. Alright, yeah, it's right over here. I'll be myself and you can listen. Human mind in a mechanical body. We are at the cusp of major breakthroughs in making this a reality. Would you like to know more? Early experiments in exoscience managed to encode the human consciousness into a form that could be processed digitally. At the time, we believed that was the big hurdle to overcome in the creation of the EXO. Little did we know, the real challenge would be the phenomenon known as dissociative exomind rejection. Nascent proto-EXOs developed serious symptoms of cognitive disorder that eventually led to death. It turned out the human mind would not reconcile its presence in a new body. It took multiple iterations in design, but the Clovis Bray Corporation eventually developed several solutions. The first is to reboot the mind once it has been transferred, allowing it to awaken inside its new shell as though it were being reborn. 
This has side effects of memory loss and fragmentation, but it's highly effective in the prevention of DER. The reboot process can be repeated multiple times to further the odds of survival. It is not currently known how many times a human consciousness can be rebooted, but scientists estimate it to be around 20. The second preventative measure to DER is to program certain humanisms within exos. As machines, they have not the physical needs to eat or reproduce like real humans, but artificially injecting that drive has been clinically proven to reduce the odds of DER. Further experimentation is required to perfect the EXO project, but you can be assured that Clovis Bray is at the forefront in the field of exoscience. And there you have it. The EXO race. Just humans inside of a mechanical body. I thought that was rather interesting. And the fact that human mind can only be rebooted approximately 20 times in a human body sounds a little scary to be an exo who may constantly die <laughs> in a game like this but you know how the game goes you're a guardian you're the hero heroes usually win <laughs> anyways i appreciate you for watching i hope you have a very good day very good night and i will catch you in the next episode of Destiny 2 gameplay. See you then.